Hi, CUS kids. Today's story time is based on this Sunday's Old Testament reading, which comes from Exodus chapters 1 and 2. Baby Moses. Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, was afraid. He was rich and powerful and scared. What could he be scared of? Well, strangely enough, Pharaoh was scared of God's people, the Hebrews. He thought there were too many of them, and he was afraid they would try to become more powerful than he was. To make sure the Hebrews had no power, Pharaoh made them his slaves and ordered them to work very hard. Even worse, he demanded that all of the Hebrew baby boys should be drowned in the Nile River. Because of this, God's people were terribly afraid, too. Everyone in Egypt was afraid. During this fearful time, a baby boy was born to a Hebrew mother. She loved her baby boy, and of course she wanted him to live. The baby's mother kept him safe by making a floating basket for him. She put her baby in the basket and hid it in the water that was in the plants at the edge of the Nile River. The baby's big sister, Miriam, hid near the shore and watched over the basket. What happened next was really amazing. Pharaoh's daughter came down to the river to take a bath. She saw the basket among the water and plants and asked her servant to go get it. When she opened the basket, she was surprised to see a baby boy crying. Hmm, this must be one of the Hebrews' children, said Pharaoh's daughter. He's awfully cute. Wouldn't it be fun to keep him? Aha, thought Miriam, I can help her. Miriam bravely stepped out of her hiding place. I could probably find someone to help take care of the baby for you until he's a little older, she said. That would be perfect, said Pharaoh's daughter. Miriam was excited to tell her mother the news. The baby's mother took good care of him. When he was old enough, he went to live with Pharaoh's daughter. Miriam and her mother prayed that he would be safe with her. I think I will name him Moses, said Pharaoh's daughter, because I took him out of the water. Moses lived in Pharaoh's palace until he grew to be a man. During that time, Life became worse for the Hebrews. Eventually, however, Moses would help free God's people so that they could leave Egypt. Now there was something besides fear for God's people. There was hope. 